we started looking at a streaming system. We wanted to have our own system in-house to support um, several things on campus that we needed. One of them was to host our TV programs. We produce quite a bit of uh, programming here at the studio, student-produced programming, faculty, staff-produced programming. And we didn't want to just post it to YouTube. We wanted some ability to control the content in-house, but also to, to uh, have content that was available for classes and on-campus events. And having our own streaming system in-house was really important to us for those reasons. Um, also, uh, something that we could teach students how to use that was flexible and easy to use. Um, and a lot of solutions were kludgy and, and uh, difficult and expensive, frankly, that I looked at. So uh, I looked around for quite a bit for a streaming system that we could really uh, embrace in our studio. and. Um, I found the Discover Video System. Uh, it was simple to use right, right out of the box. It was affordable for our budget, and uh, it was a really well-designed, well-thought-out well, thought, well thought out system that I thought would really serve our needs of hosting our programs that we produce, uh, serving video to classroom and internal use, and archiving uh, content for the future. Okay. So we do uh, quite a few live events uh, throughout the year. Um, lectures, performances, plays, um, uh, visiting speakers, uh, and uh, conferences. Um, and, and many of those uh, people want to both see our programming on, on other campuses. We have three campuses. So it really comes in handy to have a streaming system for viewing to other campuses for folks who can't get over here to see our many events that we have uh, during the year. Um, but also for our viewing audience, we have a regional cable channel, but not everybody can access it. Only it's in three towns right now, but not everybody in our service region can actually access our channel. So it's nice to be able to reach people who, um, who don't live right in the three towns around the college, but are, have students coming here. And also uh, family and friends all over the country can enjoy our programming. We produce shows that uh, can reach a national audience that are educational and that, can, uh, and that our students can tell their friends and family and they can watch our shows live. Okay. So for the live uh, part of this, we have uh, a multi-channel encoder. So we have uh, several channels that we are streaming 24-7 with live content for radio, multimedia, video, television programs. Um, we also produce uh, live events on campus to, to multiple campuses and out to the internet for anybody who wants to see our programming uh, using uh, a laptop, our, uh, our Captiva, and uh, StreamZ software. We can use that in the classroom because it's easier for faculty to use and understand. Now we use it for live events, our staff set up, and our students actually can operate the, those systems with our guidance to do live streams really anywhere on campus that we have network access. So uh, we have a video on demand channel, the Massasoit on demand channel, and uh, members of our community can go and watch our TV programs on demand, access our live channels, uh, and also access the different programs that have videos on campus our honors program. For example, we have students who are in our honors program who record their honors presentations and then they can watch those back. They're part of a National Honor Society. Uh, our library, our uh, TV studio, our gateway to college. This is a program that uh, gets high school students taking college credits as they help them uh, get through some challenges they have in high school. So there are service programs. We have a number of different um, uh, parts of the college that utilize our on-demand channel for their own content. In addition to our, our TV station, our TV and radio channel, where we have the live programming and on-demand shows uh, that we produce in our TV studio. For example, um, student-produced programming, concerts, plays, performances. You can see a range of shows that we have at the college. Most of these are produced by students. All of them have students involved in the production. Uh, one of the most important things that I wanted out of a streaming encoding system was the ability to archive our library. We have a library of videotapes that goes back to about 1985. Thousands and thousands of hours of, of content that include the history of the college, events, performances, uh, just everything that's been done that we've recorded, television programs over the years. Um, and we are in the process of and have, have started for the last few years with Devos to digitize and archive each of those. Um, that means that uh, as those programs get digitized, they get posted to our on-demand channel. Um, they're accessible uh, by searching uh, programs and topics and uh, guests. And that's a real uh, big help for, for accessing the college's history and content that can be useful in education uh, of, of our students. 
Um, and that's one of the things I really like about it, the ability to have the system be an archive and a searchable database um, content holder for our shows. Sure. We, uh, we produce uh, some training videos for internal departments, for faculty members. We produce promos, um, orientation videos, welcome videos, uh, highlight videos, and some informational videos about various programs on campus. Some of that is accessible in internally for students to access as a resource and training resource. Some of it's externally so that people who are thinking about coming to the college, who are interested in a program, or are part of a learning program can watch those videos outside of school. Um, I'd say the college community has embraced our on-demand and live streaming channels. Um, whenever we have a live event on campus, we're requested to uh, record and stream that live. People have gotten used to that. Uh, people like having access to our television programs on demand instead of having to wait for them to be available on TV. Um, our different departments um, have enjoyed the ability to upload their own videos and have those available to their internal staff and external constituencies as they need them. And our faculty, uh, especially in our media and multimedia communications programs, have really uh, utilized it for uploading films and videos that they want to give access to their students without necessarily sending their students out to something that's, that's free and public and not secure like a YouTube. And they, that's really been a help to us. So uh, our plans are to expand the use of the Devo system over the next few years as uh, funding allows. We're going to uh, continue to archive our library and try and make the entire history of the college available on demand. Um, we are part of the Massachusetts Broadcasters Hall of Fame uh, at Massasoit Community College and we're going to be taking archive content from uh, producers of radio, television, on-air personalities and archiving their content and making it available on demand as part of the Broadcasters Hall of Fame channel. Um, we're archiving sports and sports games for both players and our own uh, history of the college and our successful sports teams. We're uh, expanding uh, our content delivery to, our, to using the Devos Digital Science System um, to post content and make content available on demand at multimedia stations throughout the campus. Most of the systems that I looked at when I was uh, evaluating uh, streaming live and on-demand systems, they were very, very expensive. Uh, what I really liked about the Devo system, and I think it would be beneficial to any uh, college like ours, is, is the affordability of Devos. But I, it wasn't a compromise of features. It was, it's very feature rich. Um, the software is easy to use. And around here, it's very easy to, for, for people to get lost in technology. And when you give them a tool, especially something as complicated as streaming and encoding, you want it to be simple for faculty and staff to use and adopt. And people who've used our, the encoding systems, who've used our software, find it very intuitive. Uh, the pages are logical, they make sense, it's easy to organize, and um, I would recommend the system to anybody who's looking for something that is powerful, affordable, and expandable.